Today's show keeps chugging along with an adventure not to forget aboard the Georgetown Loop Railroad. Our guide today is Mr. Tom Hill. We would not want anyone else, of course. Now, besides the great weather that we're going to have uh, this weekend, what else is going on with the Georgetown Loop Railroad? Well, this weekend we have what we call railroad days. We have that four times a year. And a group called the Park County Regulators. They're a takeoff of the Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, I'm sure. But they come out and they do train robberies and all sorts of things. They're very popular for pictures with all of our guests. But uh, that's what's going on on Saturday and Sunday. I think we'll have 10 or 12 train robberies probably. So it's a lot of fun. That is, this is the greatest time of year to be up there too. Just, it's so pretty. Talk about your fall special you have for our viewers. Well, we got a fall special um, just for you people. And if you call the railroad and tell them that you want the, the special that Tom Hill talked about, here on uh, Mile High Living, um, they'll set you right up. And what it is, it's $28 that for two coach tickets. Normally it's $58. Oh, okay? okay. So it's a heck of a deal. Now you can't combine it with anything else. You can upgrade it. So if you want to take a mine tour also, you can add some extra money for mine tours. Uh, can't do it commercially, and you're allowed two of them. And we have a total of 500 sets. Mm -hmm. uh, so call up. Talk to one of our staff, and they'll set you right up. All right. Now, you have some mine tours running as well, right? Yeah, we have a total of four different mine tours. Uh, three of them are at the Lebanon. Uh, we have a, the normal Lebanon tour that's been around for 40-plus years. Um, that tells you about how it used to be back in the day. Then we have an extended mine tour where you can actually see boot prints that have calcified from the last time that the mine was active, which was 1907. Oh, wow. And so you can actually see the boot prints for the people. They were hobnail boots back in those days. Then we have our gold, by, uh, gold panning. There's a little bit of gold here I brought with me. Uh, that's also down at the Lebanon mine. But then our other gold panning, which is up at the Everett mine, uh, also includes lunch. So the gold is the same. All this gold that you see here is all, all from Colorado. Ooh, how much is there? Uh, there's about $3,000 worth. Hey, look over there. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. All right, now, <laughs> there's a, now you've got, what, three tours in Lebanon? Is three that right? Three tours in Lebanon and one in the Everett. Okay, and one in there. Okay, so you've got those going on. And, and then how does someone actually decide which one to take if you've got so many? So many to choose from. Well, yeah, you can, it really depends on what you want. Uh, if you go on the Everett mine, uh, and of course you get lunch there as well as uh, the gold panning. The thing that's different there is you'll actually come to a location that we are actively mining. Oh, okay. And we do that in the winters. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not like we're after silver or gold or anything like that. Uh, about a hundred and, no, about 70, 60, 70 years ago, there was a cave in uh, because the mine was deteriorated. Okay. And the, we had a company in there re rehabilitating it, and they kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, like going to the dentist, sort of. <laughs> and finally they came in one day, and one piece of it caved away. And uh, the state of Colorado, who owns the mines, because mm -hmm. they own all the property, decided they were going to use the other mine at the Lebanon to uh, go and start their mine tours down there, and that's what they did. And then about three years ago, we put our staff to work cleaning it up, reshoring that whole area, and opening back up for... Hopefully in another year or so, more mine tours. Areas that, oh wait, the mines go on for three and a half miles. Oh, the there, I've been up there too. Yeah. You've, I've talked to you when we were up there and yeah. it is, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You really don't understand what Colorado has to offer until you kind of see some of these spots. Now let's talk about that deal again. It's normally what, 55 or $58? 55? It's, it's normally $55. Okay, but you can get it for $28. You can get it for 28 and that's for two adult tickets. And the question always comes up, well, can I use one of the adult tickets for one of my kids? Yes, you can. Of course. There's, no, there's no other break, but you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's no other break other than that. That's okay. That's all right, too. Now, I have a little birdie told me that once the temperatures change, gets a little snowy maybe up there, Santa might be making an appearance? Well, yes, Santa will make an appearance. And uh, Santa's on all of our trains, uh, both the daytime train, which yeah. is the uh, holiday holiday train, and also the haunted, or not the haunted, the, the forest lights train which is in the evenings. Mm. Uh, we have oh, close to 300,000 lights. We set up not only just at our locations on the two depots, but also throughout the forest, which is a really good thing because 
There's no electricity way out there. Oh, my. You guys really put on a show, and it's such an experience. Tom, we really appreciate you being here. You well, really just it. need to go up there and experience for yourself. So here's today's exclusive offer. He's already, he's given you a deal, guys. $28 for two coach class tickets. Now, this is normally 55 bucks. These tickets are good. Monday through Friday until October 4th. No other discounts may be applied or can be applied to any other days. So for today's discount, this is what you need to do. Call 888 Four five six six seven seven seven. We like that number. And say, I saw Tom on Mile High Living. To view all the different train rides, visit GeorgetownLoopRR.com. They paid for today's segment.